Hello, Realtor Sonia Rankin here. So you're thinking about moving to the Emerald Coast of Florida and you'd like to know, where do I live? So let me go over some bullet points. I am not allowed to say which schools are good and great. You can look that up. I have resources that I can share with you. Uh, I'm not allowed to say if an area is safe or not or what type of town it is. Um, I have to be very careful because we don't discriminate as real estate agents. We've, we've uh, gone through a lot of training to be careful with what we say and what we do because we never want to make any feel, anyone feel like they don't belong or to steer you toward one neighborhood or one town than another. So let me get right into what I can share and give you some information about the area. So here is our beautiful area of the Destin, or, or of the Emerald Coast of Florida. So right here we have uh, this is this is all beach. So if you see white here, uh, that's going to be probably a more expensive property. It's it's right there along the beach, and it is uh, right there, beachy kind of more tropical feel to it. Now as you move on in, uh, Mary Esther, Fort Walton Beach, right Florida, and you'll see Ocean City in this general area. Um, these these lately have been pretty price comparable to. Uh, Nice, or Crestview, that is up here. And they've been pretty price comparable to uh, the Navarre area. So in Navarre and in Crestview, in Laurel Hill, of course, uh, and Baker, you can usually get a house on some land, like a half an acre plus if you really wanted. Um, in Fort Walton Beach, you get, a, you get a smaller house on a smaller lot usually. Or actually in Fort Walton Beach, you can get a bigger house on a smaller lot usually. Niceville, you get a smaller house on a smaller lot typically. Uh, Freeport, you can get a bigger house on a bigger lot. Crestview, bigger house on a bigger lot. And Baker, you're in the country. So here's the country here. You're in, you're in Baker. You're kind of in a country area with fields and dirt roads. Over here at Laurel Hill, fields and dirt roads. It's very comparable to Alabama over here. And then you start getting into to town. you got town with your, uh, your Publix stores. You've got your Winn-Dixie stores. You've got your Burlington. You've got you know, a little bit of a city going on over here. And then south of I-10 is where a lot of people like to live because you do have to drive along with everybody else in the morning uh, and the evening to go to and from base if you work on base or to go to either Eglin or Hurlburt Field over here. So uh, when you're over here in Fort Walton Beach and you're in Niceville or you're in Valparaiso or Shalimar area, you're going to experience uh, some, some jets, some airplanes, because this is an Air Force base. There's another Air Force base over here. And uh, there's a, an airport right here. So you're going to experience some noise from time to time. Now, for us locals, it's white noise to us. I don't even notice it anymore. You may have a different experience. I can't promise you that. Um, but so Freeport has some country areas to it and uh, has some more suburbs. Uh, Niceville is almost all suburbs. Blue Water Bay is located right over here. Blue Water Bay and Niceville are very trendy places right now. So the prices are a little bit higher. And uh, Destin, maybe, maybe Niceville and Destin have some similar kind of comparable prices. Uh, now in Destin, when you get closer to the beach, you're looking into, you know, maybe even in the millions. Uh, but there's a lot of properties that you can find in Niceville and Destin for the $400,000 range. There's some properties over in Fort Walton Beach anywhere from $200,000 to, you know, and up. But we see a lot of the three bedrooms, two bathrooms that a lot of people like to, my buyers like to look at are right around the three hundred fifty dollars to $400,000 range. Navarre, you can, in any of these towns, you really can always find that fixer upper that's $200,000 plus. Um, and sometimes even less if it's really run down and it needs to be fixed up. Uh, but a lot of times when you're looking to use a VA loan or an FHA loan, you know, you do have to have it to where it can be insurable. Even the conventional loan needs to be insurable. So certain things need to be fixed so you can pass that four-point inspection. The roof, the HVAC, the water heater, and uh, the electrical system all have to be up to a certain standard in order to get to the closing table. So fixer-uppers are not ideal. Uh, when you're financing, depending on the type of financing that you're getting. But just to kind of explain the area, you've, you've got a smaller town, Defuniac Springs. Baker's a smaller town. Laurel Hill's a smaller town. Now, these are places that might have an IGA, a Piggly Wiggly, maybe a Walmart. Um, but they have some country, they have some, they have some fields to them. In certain areas, there's fields. In certain areas, even Paxton. They're, Paxton, Laurel Hill, Baker are very similar to Alabama. Um, same thing with Defuniac Springs and Ponce de Leon. There's a lot of areas that are very similar to Alabama. Freeport has some, some 
field still, uh, but Hammock Bay and the surrounding neighborhood, Owl's Heads uh, neighborhood, these are so, these are little uh, suburban neighborhoods that are really starting to pick up with new construction. So Freeport, Florida, you find a lot of new construction neighborhoods. Crestview, Florida, a lot of new construction neighborhoods. Um, there's not a lot of new construction in Niceville because there's not a lot of land for sale. There's not a lot of lots that people are selling. Um, so Fort Walton Beach, you can find some new construction. Navarre, there's new construction. Gulf Breeze, there's new construction. There's a lot of new construction in Pensacola, Pace, and Milton. Um, but Baker, not a lot of new construction homes. Crestview, a ton of them. So you can pick your experience. We can find you a new construction home just about anywhere. Um, but there's certain areas in these bigger towns like Crestview and Navarre, where in Milton and Pace and, and Pensacola, where there's certain neighborhoods that have just popped up. They bought a field and now they've created a neighborhood and there's a lot of options for new construction. But there's a lot of really great older homes. So when you're considering buying somewhere, the first thing I think you should do instead of asking your agent, hey, is it a safe neighborhood or is are there trustworthy people there? Does it look shady? Don't ask them that. We can't answer that. But what you can do is you can see if it's a walkable neighborhood. If you like the, like, it does, it, does it have sidewalks? Does it have, um, does it look like a place you would want to walk? Does it look like it's wet and soft? And so what you can do is take your little man right here. This is the street view browser. And now you see all the streets have highlighted. So I want to go, I want to go, my friend had mentioned uh, Lake Lorraine. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this off near Lake Lorraine. I'm going to, I, I have completely missed Lake, oh, I'm right on top of Lake Lorraine. I'm very proud of that. Okay, so here's Lake Lorraine. And Lake Lorraine, like a lot of these, a lot of these areas in Florida, there's not a lot of zoning restrictions, or there wasn't originally. So you'll see apartment buildings, and then you'll see little houses, and then you'll go down the road, and you might see a, a mobile home park or smaller houses, and then you'll see a beautiful HOA with with a homeowners association with perfect grass, and you see then we have like townhomes over here. And this is just the way Florida's laid out. And you'll see this a lot in Fort Walton Beach. You'll see this a lot in, in Shalimar. Um, in Crestview, it's just, a, it's just a mixed melting pot of trying to figure out what they wanted to do. You know, what was selling? Was it, was it apartments or was it four bedroom, two bathroom homes? So that's something that's, that's to think about. You know, put yourself in the street view. If you see a house that you're considering like, hey, I'd really... Maybe I'd like to see that when I'm in town if you're not local. Just say, hey, I, I like that house that's available for sale. Let's go ahead and pop it into Google Maps and then street view it. And then you can see, like, oh, man, like, this looks like a place I'd like to walk. Like, there's, there's, you know, there's, it doesn't seem like there's a ton of cars on the road right now. And look at all the houses. Like, do we like this style of house? Do we, do we like that they have front porches? Do we hate that? You know, do we mind that neighbors can have boats in their front yard? Like, is that a problem for you? So this is a, you know, this is a good metric. Like, if you like your neighbors to have perfectly cut grass, then maybe an HOA is where you want to be. And if you don't care what your neighbors are doing and you only care about your place, like, maybe maybe you want to, you know, be, be somewhere else. Maybe, you know, you can really catch the vibe of the neighborhood by doing this. And so let's see if I can zoom on out more uh, but then you can do the little 2d view that that this is that's kind of pretty cool all right let me find myself over here i'm going the wrong way everything's backwards when you have it in this mode or i'm just not coordinated yeah i'm just not coordinated okay there's the military base there's all kinds of stuff over here let me find myself okay so i'm not shy i i Here's my little guy. Here's the neighborhood I live in. This is Cedar Ridge. Back this way. So this is Cedar Ridge. And I live over here. And this is this is what the homes look like. This there's no HOA here. But these were built by Barton, uh, Barton Builders, and they did an amazing job, I think. I've sold a lot of homes in this neighborhood, and a lot of these homes are are really um, well made in my opinion, but you can always have a homeowner that did some funny stuff in the background. Sold this one, I've sold that one, uh, or I was a listing agent of both of those homes. 
and several others in the neighborhood. But you could just get in the street view, drop your little guy, and then just cruise around. Oh, I don't like this street. I want to, I really am interested in the house that's for sale down here. Just double click it down there. And now here we are. We're down that street. So I've sold a few off of this street. This one's currently under contract. I've sold those, uh, I've sold them their home right there. And yeah, this is just a really neat little way to cruise around and see what you think. So these homes, I believe, are also built by Barton Builders. This is also Cedar Ridge. But these homes in this area are around 400, 420,000, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, most of them. The previous neighborhood, uh, you can buy a three bedroom, two bathroom for 200 or 350,000. There have been some that sold like right across the street from me for 307, 306, 307,000. So you can find your price range and just look at homes that are, are already on the market for sale and pop into the street view. Say, hey, listen, I walk every day. I need to have a sidewalk. Street view will show you that. Look at this place. It has a great sidewalk. Every road has a sidewalk. It's not just one road. Or you can tell if it is just the road in front of the house you're interested in buying. And then, oh, there's no sidewalk beyond that. I don't feel, I don't feel, I feel like that's a hazard for me to walk in the road. So this may not be the neighborhood I want to live in. So you can come to your conclusions on your own from utilizing the street view. And when it comes to safety of neighborhoods, everybody has a different experience. Maybe you're from a part of the country where there's zero crime or very low crime. And to you, any amount of crime would be too much. Or, you know, in, in, in my opinion, maybe different than your opinion. So that's why, that's part of the reason why we do not discriminate. We do not uh, comment on the safety of neighborhoods. You can always look up the statistics. I have resources for the schools. Uh, but there's another Cedar Ridge neighborhood uh, where a lot of the houses in this neighborhood will come up for sale randomly, and they'll be around three fifty. Um, you know, it's rare that they're in the four hundred thousand dollar range unless they're um, uh, have have a lot of upgrades. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to kind of share the area and what to expect. And uh, you know, when you're looking for for a condominium. You know, uh, Niceville is not the biggest place for condominiums. You can find some townhomes in Valparaiso. If you're looking for condominiums, look for the water. So Destin typically has a lot of condominiums. Miramar Beach has some condominiums. Fort Walton Beach, Okaloosa Island, all along, all along this stretch right here. It has a lot of different condominiums and townhome options. When you're right on the water, you'll see a lot more condominiums and townhomes because you can get a lot more people per square foot and acre because it's a lot more expensive on the water uh, for land. So you'll see a lot more condominiums as opposed to houses. Uh, but you have a lot of great options over here. And, you know, when you're thinking about, well, I'm, I'm going to be going to, a I'm going to be working off at Aglin Air Force Base, where I live over here in Niceville right here, is about a 15-minute commute to the, the first gate of Aglin Air Force Base. Shalimar, look how close that is. Right, Florida, look how close that is to both bases. Shalimar, again, that's pretty close to both bases. Fort Walton Beach is right there in the middle where you could go to one or the other if you're thinking about taking a job over here, but also considering taking a job here. Those are your options. When it comes to um, working on NAS Pensacola Air Force Base, you may, you may not want to live all the way over in Fort Walton Beach. That's on the other side of Navarre. That's quite a drive. So by looking at the maps, you can really get an idea of where you want to be. I think the Naval Station is somewhere over here. Um, but yeah, it, there's a lot of options for you. And when you come over to, you know, a whole other world, here's here's Panama City, there's Tyndall Air Force Base. Well, you may not want to live in Miramar Beach. You may not want to live over in Niceville if you got to drive all the way to Tyndall Air Force Base. That's over an hour and a half drive. So keep that in mind while you're looking at things. You can also punch in the address of a house you like and go ahead and punch in the address of your Air Force Base or wherever your job might be if you're moving here and see what that distance is. But there's a lot of ways Google Maps can help you determine where you want to move and make a sound decision. So there are plenty of options. Like I said, there's Paxton, Florida. When you talk about like almost Alabama, you're right there on the line with Paxton, Florida, Laurel Hill, Baker, very uh, areas that have a lot, have some land, some land, some wide open faces, spaces, some fields. You still get some country over there. And the same thing with Ponce de Leon. Lots of country in Ponce de Leon. But you're further from the beach if that matters to you. Freeport, Florida, you got a little bit of a drive to the beach. Uh, Niceville, you got a 15-minute drive to the first Destin Beach. 
And Eglin's right all around here. Right here we have Fort Walton Beach. You're right on the beach. And there's certain areas like Wright, Florida, and Ocean City that are all right in the Fort Walton Beach area. You can get, your belt, you can get to the beach in 5-10 minutes in some areas. So take a look at that and, and poke around a little bit. Grab your guy and drop him where you think you might want to be. Type in an address and drop him there. And like you can see, Navarre, look at these houses. They're not right on top of each other. They're not touching. There's no zero lot lines. You've got a little bit of land back there. You've got a little bit of land up here. You've got some space. So I hope that this helps you uh, in your journey and searching for a home and determining where you want to be. I work with a lot of buyers who are buying sight unseen. That means they haven't physically been here. I go in and I show them a video of the specific homes they want to see. So when you're when you're about you know two months out from purchasing and you know you need to move, that's what I do is I'll take videos when you're serious about buying, when you're serious about being ready to place an offer, I can go out and take videos and, and tour these homes for you. Now when you're just looking or just curious about, I don't know where I want to be, I don't necessarily go out and do videos. I do videos for serious people because a lot of these homes are occupied or maybe are rented and we, ha we don't want to put anybody out unless you're ready to go. So anyway, there's a lot of options over here. There's a lot of great, um, great land, great houses, and uh, great builders too. So anyway, I will let you get back to your day. Thanks so much for checking out my channel, and I hope this was helpful. Again, I am Realtor Sonia Rankin with Realty One Group and Real Coast. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or comment below, and I'll get in touch with you. Uh, but if it's ever time to buy or sell, my contact information is below. I'd love to help you in your real estate journey. Bye-bye.